hello there and welcome to today's video so right now i'm actually on the road i am trying to get this car uh to get its tires sorted front tires i've noticed that ever since um some three weeks ago two weeks ago when i changed the rear tires uh, the car was um uh, acting a bit weird it would pull from side to side uh, especially if, when i'm uh, doing my isps i'm thinking somebody uh, may have put a lot more pressure than the, than is supposed to be in the tires so now the tire is deformed and now the car you know pretty much acts uh, funny so i'm going to get the front tires um replaced i didn't the ones that i replaced with the rear tires front tires i didn't get them replaced so that's what i'm actually doing this morning and i have got some good news um, um the engine for the brevis arrived and uh, i think we are going to be excited as we are to see what we're going to be doing uh, to know exactly what that project is going to be all about and what kind of motor that we're going to be putting for it i've got big plans for it um, so stay tuned for that i think you're pretty much going to enjoy that Obviously, they are premium brands such as your Continental, such as your um, what? Kumo tires, and uh, many other brands. Uh, but I've noticed that Royal Black seems to be a good, very good brand too. Uh, not as expensive as the other premium brands, but it holds up fine. Now, ch check out that M3. I'm not sure if it's a real M. M Sport. It has got an M badge. I'm not sure if it is real, but um, this would be a cool place to actually do a project like a 2JZ, something like that. So we just got the new tires on. I want to test and see if I can get to 120 and how stable the car is going to be. a lot stable i can even let the steering um you know it's very interesting you know is how um such a simple thing can have a dramatic effect on how the car drives Get rid of 
car feels so good to drive. Before I was wrestling with the steering, but now I can actually let it go. And drive. I was going to change the, the back part. I was going to change the boat. I was going to change the boat. I was going to change the boat. Exactly. Yeah. So I can pretty much tell you that um, here the mood is electric. We are very much happy. A um, few days ago, we got um, the one UZ uh, engine, which is what we're going to be putting on the previous. Uh, I know in the previous, there's a video that we, we I did probably three months ago, uh, where I was saying I was going to announce what engine we are going to be putting. So it's pretty much the one UZ FE, that's the engine that's going to be going on the previous. And um, we're going to be mounting this huge turbo, but I just collected this. Uh, this afternoon is a whole set HX40. Uh, that's the one that's going to be going on the uh, on the one you Z. Um, now the only thing that's um, being an issue is that we have to wait for a long time. Um, maybe for the other projects, I never really announced anything or talked about uh, when we ordered things and how long it was taking. But uh, pretty much, I can tell you that this engine was ordered around about the same time that you saw us uh, removing the engine out of the. Um, uh the the one jz which was in the previous when we removed it that's i think a week before that we had done the order of the engine and we'd also ordered the gearbox uh and also the turbocharger as well uh, unfortunately just uh, because this turbocharger came from the uk the engine came straight from japan we ordered it on b forward now with the turbocharger it was supposed to arrive with the gearbox they were supposed to come together uh, because the company which we we were doing the, uh, the freighting and the paperwork and so forth. For some reason, they forgot my gearbox. So what it means is I have to wait for uh, another three months. Uh, I don't know how long I have to wait, but I think I've been talking to them. They said that maybe they might have to uh, send it by uh, uh, air freight, uh, simply because it's a, it was a mistake on their part. So we'll see uh, if they're going to do that or maybe they're just trying to uh, manage me so that I don't get mad, so that I don't, you know, but I will see. Uh, but if it comes as soon as they say, which is probably a week from now, um, maybe, um, maybe the project will move a, a little bit, a little bit quicker. So what we are pretty much planning is, um, like I said before, um, it is going to be manual. Obviously, the same gearbox that we put on the Black Mamba is the same gearbox that's going to be going on the on the Brevis. Uh, now, with the Brevis is a bit different uh, because it's a different generation uh, as to the when this engine came out. So there's a number of things that I will have to uh, figure out and a number of modifications that I will have to do. Namely, for example, this one uses a throttle uh, body, which is the cable uh, drive by wire, drive by cable, sorry. But um, the Brevis uses the drive by, by wire type. So, uh, you know, I have to sort out a few things to just make sure that uh, everything is proper. Obviously, I'm going to be using drive-by cable, um, but just for the pedals to mount and so forth and so forth, uh, they might not mount the way that I'm thinking it would be easy, but um, we'll see how it goes. Uh, also, even the handbrake of the, uh, of the Toyota Brevis is not the, 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 the handbrake that you pull up 
is the one that the foot pedal type of a handbrake so all that has to go away there's some modifications that need to be done there uh, even the the the, the 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 tunnel for putting the what you call it uh the, the manual linkage um, of course they're different uh with the manual stick it's obviously different so again that's some modification that needs to be done there uh, so it, they, there's a number of things that needs to be done to 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 to, to quite put it uh frankly and um it is going to be interesting uh, but like i said um this thing we're going to be putting the the, the hx40 or set hx40 turbocharger and um, simply because this vehicle came as a natural aspirated vehicle um, what it means is there's a little bit of work that needs to be done done in the background and just because i have to wait for some time for the transmission to get here i have to wait for a bit of time for the adapter kit to get here it means I've got time, I'm able to sort out the other issues. Like for example, uh, this engine has got a compression ratio, ratio of uh, 10 is to 4, 10.4 uh, is to 1. And I, what I would want is a situation where we can lower it down to about maybe 9. Uh, I think I'm happy with 9 because I don't intend to put so much boost. Um, I'm intending to put... <laughs> The face that you're making. Yeah, that's the thing now because you think you don't want to put <laughs> so much boost in. You find yourself putting a lot more. Okay, so I don't plan to put too much boost. I just, of course, I know that um, it, it's, it's normal. It's a normal situation that happens whereby you put, let's say, um, 5 psi, right, half, half a bar of boost and um you feel like ah you know what well, the car will feel good but you feel like ah you know what i think what would make the car feel even better if you, if i bump it up to uh maybe 8 psi or 7 psi Boost or control. 9 psi <laughs> or 9 psi and until you find yourself putting something like 17 psi and then <laughs> and then the engine blows up or something like that so of course i i know myself i've been disciplined that i i won't even you know um i think um, we're going to lower the compression uh, so that at the end of the day if we are tempted to put so much boost um, w we can run a, a bit more boost but things will still be reliable and safe another thing is this car uses a different the one used it uses a different kind of uh, uh, head gasket uh, different from the ones that you see from the JZ they use a multi-layer steel kind of uh, of a, of a head gasket that's the type that we're going to use uh, on the one use it and we are probably going to use uh, that uh, thicker gasket to reduce the compression and sim simply because this is a 96 96 97 one use it um, it means it has got those thinner thinner rods so we have to upgrade those rods uh, to get maybe uh, thicker rods your HP thicker rods uh, because I've heard, I've been you know, doing a little bit of research for the past couple of months and I've seen that people, as they were running maybe above uh, six, 6 PSI or 7 PSI, uh, which is uh, half a bar of boost, above that, um, they will have some, some um, road issues. So I don't want to have those issues. I want this to be as reliable as possible. So definitely we're going to be doing the, the, <laughs> the roads as well and the bearings. And uh, once we've, we've done with that, I think all should be all should be proper. So there's a lot of work that needs to be done that I, 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 I don't want to. There's a lot of work that we, we're going to be doing. And because this is a start of another, uh, what can you say, another series, I don't know, another build. Uh, I'm very excited about it. Uh, and I, I, I know some of you watching our videos are definitely uh, looking forward and also as excited as we are. So, so stay tuned. Um, and um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed to the channel. So, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. What did you say then? Holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> I think the engineer is a motor engineer.